beach in such a configuration as to create a 68,200 square foot reproduction of a 1959 Picasso drawing be forewarned. It is hard. You will need practice and supplies and math, and if you don't take the shadows into account, you are doomed. But there are no shadows here. It's a beautiful day. As a planet, we're all facing serious problems. Um, and, you know, I, I guess Greenpeace has always been, you know, addressing, it's been addressing these problems for a lot longer than many other organizations. I just know that they support peace around the world for different causes and they're doing cool things like having this amazing human art sculpture on the beach and it's going to be a photo, it's going to be amazing. We believe in supporting an organization that helps to benefit society in a proactive way and we hope this demonstration will be successful. We'll create something beautiful on a beautiful day and to let the Bush administration know that the people of Miami are going to come together and speak in non-violence. I support Greenpeace because there's a lot of very important work that needs to be done and that's why I come out here and volunteer. We hope for a better world and more peace and it starts with you and us and every single individual that's here today. These are very, very serious issues and we should be aware of it and I think it's beautiful that everybody came together for this. There are people that have faith in something that's not monetary. There are people that have faith in communal space and the earth that has given birth to all of us. And these people that are fighting for this, they, they, need, to be, they, need, to, they need more support, you know? They need more people on an active front to get out there and work with them because the people united will never be defeated. It is felt to be significant, not because it means something other than itself, but because it is so satisfying as it is. Two years ago, we did an action at sea at the port of Miami as a ship was coming in from Brazil carrying illegal mahogany. Now, it's illegal to import mahogany into this country, and funnily enough, it was Greenpeace that got busted. We're going to court in May. It was a funny thing what they actually charged us for. Sailor mongering is the actual law, and it hasn't been used since 1872. Oh no, no, no uh, sailor monitoring acts out here. We're uh, tired of it. I mean, that's really obscure. It's ridiculous, you know? Luring sailors off of ships to boarding houses? Come on, we were hanging a banner off the side of a vessel. If you were involved in corruption at Miami International Airport, apparently the U.S. Department of Justice will not prosecute you. But if you are an officer of Greenpeace, and you've expressed opposition to the destruction of rainforests, and if your organization has brought sunshine to that corruption through nonviolent protest, you will be prosecuted. They haven't done it before. They've never done it to the NAACP. They've never done it to the suffragette movements. They've never done it to the, even the Ku Klux Klan. But for some reason, they're doing it to Greenpeace. So we're here to celebrate and to create awareness about what's happening in the rainforest and with our rights and freedom of speech that are getting taken away from us. Can't take our free speech for granted. And this is just a bit of an interpretation of what would happen to our country if we lost it. We would hate to see Greenpeace go. You're a great organization and we need you around. Keep the world. If we need to clean up the image so that it's a beautiful painting with the Picasso, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna walk through the image and I need you to really like move quickly into the right position. You have such a beautiful spirit, you're releasing a job even though you're behind bars. You 
got it up at the barns. Don't just, don't just stir. You know, but do swirls, do day. You're, it's freedom, man. You're liberating people. So you can do any kind of movement you want. <laughs> Climate change is a threat to our own security. The founders of our nation would be on the side of Greenpeace.